happening folks and welcome to another episode of Stars of Tomorrow, an FM20 series, where well, it's one series, sorry, where we look at the some of talent on foot manager and we see how they get on the course of their careers to give you guys a heads up before you sign them yourselves or if you're considering signing them, give you information to make that decision one way or another. Don't forget if you're excited for the episode or you're new here, hit the like button, it really does help the channel out, it helps every video get get put to the algorithm so smash the like button and if you want to stick around and see more content hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be notified when any video goes live down below is my discord and twitch twitch friday saturday and monday streams and my second channel down below as well which got non football related content on there so today we're on the page of tange nianzu i'm going with that i'm going with that set it back don't do don't do this often. Um, we, should, we should do we should, we should do really, shouldn't we? Um, potential rating of 180, uh, potential ability. Um, so obviously we set it to that. Um, now I'm going by the rating range it gives, so I go for 180. That I don't know if that is correct, but that's what it says there in the range. So I'm going by 180. I said I said manual to 180. Um, and he's at Bayern Munich straight away in the save. So he's just signed the contract in 2020. So unlikely we're to get him out of there quickly. But the key stats for, for the setback role, obviously, are heading, marking, tackling, and passing if you play in a team that wants to be out from the back. But he's got good heading. He's six foot two, good pace. He's already 18 years old, got that kind of pace. They're with a loan. So if you're a team that can loan this guy, maybe you're not quite a team that can buy him. But maybe you might think, well, we can get him a team for a loan. It'd be good for a decent period. Maybe we can try and. Um, using for a bit, then give and do that. No player traits on him at the moment. Um, so yeah, let's see how he gets on, folks. The first jump again, goals and assists not going to be an issue really for this guy. But let's see how he gets on in the main technical abilities and uh, all the uh, all the other areas. All right, folks. So he's still at Bayern Munich with 33.4 million pounds, and straight away the physicality stands out. Mainly because I've got a different colour, but also the numbers also stand up quite well as well. Nothing below 14, which is great. Um, I love the stamina, I love the strength, the natural fitness, and the pace, and the acceleration, and the balance. I love all that. The technical abilities can do a bit of work on them. Uh, Sixteen heading, tackling, passing, not terrible. Uh, we'll look, look at the stats on his game time and see if that makes an issue, if an issue there. But loving the pace and the strength, all the physicality to be fair, loving it all. Um, so let's look at his injury record. Has he, has he made any major? Okay, one major injury for two months. So that shouldn't really indicate. That shouldn't really affect his games too much. So what they've done with him? So they've learned to Wolfsburg. He got 29 games there. Bayern Munich. Yeah, I'm seeing a pattern here. Not play enough. So what we say, guys, with, with this is we set him to the high. We set him to the highest. This new to this series. We set them to the highest kind of valuation of the potential now. But we look into their stats like that and. We then kind of in our heads think about what happened. So this is how he's developed, he's developed without any many barely any games. Add on more games, maybe one of a loan or two, or your own training. And I think this guy is better than what they're saying. Well who are they playing? I'm curious who they're playing in centre back ahead of him. That guy's trash. Um who the, hell, who the hell are they playing in centre back? So look, let's go for a position. Uh, go to actually go to squad. I want to see what they're doing with appearances. So who's got the highest appearance in centre back? So they've got Nicholas Sule. I mean, not terrible experience. I get that. Fair enough. Who's got the second highest appearance in centre back? Dito Bacano. Right there you go. That's why. Um, that explains that issue then. Um, so that so he's not a defender, but he's got a lot of players for him. So it could be something to keep an eye on your save, guys. You want to sign this guy? Maybe buy and keep buying top players um, and what have you. Uh, so bear that in mind if you do this. So next jump, let's go. All right, folks. He's now sixty-two million pounds to the valuation and 20, twenty-six years old and physicality amazing. Still back at all times. Avoids a weaker foot and refrains from taking long shots. He's defended still back at so far. Up he would. We've seen an increase in his heading and his passing and his tackling still been very good. Good concentration, good bravery and composure, good anticipation, good positioning, good vision, good work rate. There's a lot of boxes ticked here for this guy. Um, now, injury record again. Apart from the real injury for two months in 2023, not a problem for me there personally. So, we saw around here he wasn't playing much football. Straight away, gets a bit more here than Boone. 21 appearances, 1 assist. Then 22 games and 33. As you see, there's the boost. Now, if you did that earlier on and played him a lot more football, even if it's not your club but you loaned him out, 
maybe there's even more but more scope to improve here as well so physicality fantastic love it and fundamentals not bad they'll get better as they get older of course and now it's technical so we're going to do one more jump guys a very short video on the fence because there's not much to talk about really in terms of stats and goals and that kind of thing uh, i want to see if we can get a bit more technical improvements and maybe more mental increases as well i think that'll increase that increase that anyway because it gets older but we'll, let's have a look all right folks so you stayed at Bayern munich um and you can see here increases in mental stats we thought there would be that because as it gets older maybe you know more experienced um relatively good technical stats across the board i like them a lot first which is not good, not horrible marking could be improved upon plus passing good technique tackling good technique good uh, good vision, positioning. He's ticked the boxes in my set back areas. He's got good anticipation, good concentration, good positioning. Dead box I look for. Lee set back, 30 years old, he's still a beast in terms of physicality. Is he injury prone? No, not for me. I wouldn't say he's injury prone at all. I think he's relatively okay with that. And his career stats, I mean, again, not looking at goals really, but look at his 22 appearances, 33, 33 appearances, two goals and three, and then 46, 52 and five. 45 and 5 assists and then you got 15 and 1 and 7. So yeah, I mean, I think it's a similar case of getting him early on. You might have a small window of opportunity if Barry don't play him um, in the early in the early years. But you can never get him on low in season 1, but of course you won't probably keep him long term. But the pro, the pros for him, he's got good mentals for the, for the setback in my opinion. I don't know if you agree. Um, I, look for, I look for anticipation, concentration and positioning in my setbacks. Decisions and work rate and teamwork. And bravery, yeah, there are and composure, yeah, they're kind of important, but they're the three I mean, we look for physically, not a problem at all. And technical is not terrible. And again, you add more games early, early on in his career at a higher level, whether on loan or on loan or at your club, there I don't see reason why this guy can't be um, absolute god of center back. So, we'll leave it there, folks. We're still keep doing these reviews, guys. They will be stopping relatively soon because the game's coming out, new game comes out in. November 9th, if I remember correct date correctly. Um, so these will stop us. But I don't do these videos just for the cost of this year. People play the game. I, 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 I get comments on this series from, not often it happens, but I had a comment a few months ago from my FM20 videos of reviews. So yeah, um, that's why I do this. So you can all drop, so if people don't play the new game and they still play the old one, they can find videos like this. And you know, that's what I love about this series is it's not something that will run out. You can just, if people play the the, the, all the games and they prefer that one the new one this video is there to help you guys out so if you're doing that guys and you're watching this like in a year or two's time then let me know because that'd be, that'd be cool if that's the case so yeah guys thanks for watching folks don't forget if, if you enjoyed it hit the like button it, you don't understand how much it helps the channel out every like just helps the algorithm find our videos we get we grow a bigger community we have more interaction that's fantastic for for all as well as the content if you're new here, you want to see more, you like, like what you saw today, hit the subscribe button. Down below, my Discord is there, get involved in that as well, plenty of sections in there. Live on Twitch, Friday, Saturday, Mondays, and also my second channel down below as well. Thank you for watching, folks. See you next time. Bye-bye.